Okay, everybody, here we go. I got a little eight dollar guitar strap, or I mean, it's it's perfect actually. It is two inches thick, approximately really close to it, so that'll work. And I have this just an old ratchet strap just to pull tight for deal. So I mean, I use ratchets to hold my junk, but this is exactly two inches as well. So you could either get an old guitar strap or one of these. And this is a cheap guitar strap. First things first on the guitar strap, you want to get this pretty straight and cut it. Because you're going to need at least 50, 48 inches, something like that. Yeah, so this old guitar strap is almost 5 foot long. It's crazy. First thing first, you want to cut it straight along, along the line here. I got some utility grade scissors here. Seems to be cutting through that pretty easy. Okay, so we've cut the end of the guitar strap off. What you want to do, see these little uneasy edges? You want to take your lighter. Oh gosh. Take your lighter and kind of do the edges of these bad boys. Kind of make them a little bit stronger. Just, just a little bit, not too much. Melt them together so that they don't unravel. Then you want to take, go 20, I'm going to do 25 inches. I mean, I can cut it off later if it's too long. We'll just see. But usually 24 to 25 inches will be good. I'll go ahead and mark it right here. Right through there, we're going to cut that. So now it's cut, just want to burn the edges just like we did the other one. Keep them strong. It starts to move, it's burnt together. Yeah, it's easy to touch. Okay, we're almost done. Ain't that crazy? What you want to do is take one of these ends fold it over to where you've got about an inch about that much right there plus enough width for the strap to easily fold through so what you got see it's wide enough from here over mark you out with your sharpie a box leave you a quarter inch to three eighths something like that all the way around the edges put an X in the middle we're going to sew that later with some really heavy duty uh, yarn string that you can do with shoes and I went ahead and marked that edge so if I move it we'll have that ready went ahead and took some of this electrical tape here went ahead and taped it along the seam of which it's going to be I mean it's going to be about like that and then I'll show you with it on. It's on. I went ahead and taped it all the way around. And that's basically how you want it. And it's hard to do this with that grip. but. And then once you got your strap here, kind of want it more so on your wrist so it can hold. But I'm serious, people. Just this tape right here would work. But the sewing, the sewing it is going to be a lot more stronger. I wish I had a bar here. I don't have a bar here. There it is, and uh, you want to want to make it a little bit longer if you got bigger around wrists. I mean, I got pretty good size wrists. Um, this works for me. I get to wrap it around the bar maybe two and a half, three times before it's really tight. And I would show you how to do it, but you already you should already know how to. If you need me to, I can show you how to put these things on. But they're very simple to make as long as you got something tough like this nylon woven nylon here this is just an old guitar strap like I showed you before here's the dang part that I cut off I mean it wasn't but like seven or eight bucks or you can use one of these ratchet straps they supposedly hold up to three thousand pounds but I don't know anybody's gonna be lifting that much deadlifting but these are very good for deadlifting and uh, I'll show you how I do my other straps as well but, just, but yeah just give a like and sub subscribing.
I mean, it slides in and out of that little pocket. Use the tag method, or you can use um, the sewing method. Either one, as long as you got enough here to have this coming out without any hassle. Slide back and forth, just like a tie, basically. This video is already too long. Smash like, subscribe. Links in the description. Peace. Everybody have one of them good ones. Bye. Why would you?